Hey friends, while I generally enjoy reading from the Bible each day, kind of like the way I like to eat each day, um, there are some parts of it that to me kind of taste like, like uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts, which some of you probably actually like, but I really don't. Well, the section in the book of Exodus that we've been in lately in our read Bible reading and reflection guide with this thing here, um, with all the various you know, rules and regulations for this and that and the tabernacle, it's been really tough sledding for me. But as I was plowing through this section in uh, uh, Exodus chapter 23, I'm trying to, trying to keep my eyes open really, I came across these lines and it goes like this. It says, if you come across your enemy's ox or donkey wandering off, be sure and take it back to him. If if someone who hates you, uh, their donkey, if the donkey of someone who hates you has fallen down into under their load, don't leave it there. Be sure to help him with it. At first, I kind of perked up and, and chuckled because it's so far removed from my life in, in Grove City in 2022. But then it just struck me how this is a really good picture of a New Testament line that's become kind of like a, a theme verse for my life. It goes like this, Philippians 1.27, whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Now, now as Christians, of course we know we're called to conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel, right? The real challenge though, it's in those first two words, whatever happens. I mean, if I have a friend whose donkey drops its load or who drops their grocery bag or slips and falls down, of course I'm gonna help them out. If my friend's being slandered or falsely accused of something, of course I'm gonna speak up in his defense. And it's really easy to act like a Christian uh, with people who we like and who like us back, right? But what about someone who, as the passage said, hates you? Or maybe they just don't really like you very much and you don't really like them much either. What about when that person needs your help? See, the real test, friends, for living like a Christian comes when the, the whatever that happens to us and around us is, is hard or unpleasant. And I don't know for myself, and maybe it's true for some of you too, the holiday season's full of challenging whatever. It's maybe in terms of some painful memories that bubble up or, or extended family relationships that just aren't quite the best. What I find though that God often uses to empower me to meet this challenge is, is he reminds me of how Jesus responded to some seriously unpleasant whatevers that happened to him in his earthly life. I think of how Romans 5, 8 tells us, it was even while we were yet sinners, while we were his enemies, that Christ died for us. Well, consider that friends, and, and also consider then, you know, whatever happens, <laughs> good, bad, or ugly, uh, let's be drawing near to the one who gave himself for us, and then live in a manner worthy of that good news that he brings and that he is. Thanks for your time today.